welcome to Nareshai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to talk about a lifetime of variables. What is the meaning of this one? What is the meaning of lifetime of variable? The time duration between variable creation and variable destroy. This time period we can call as what lifetime. So, one more time I am repeating here I am writing the time duration between time duration between variable creation and destroy is called what here lifetime of a variable. So, we have different variables. So, definitely we have what different types of lifetime of variables. For class level variable nothing but uh, for static variable we have one type of lifetime for non static variable we have one more type of lifetime for local variables we have one more type of lifetime. So, to highlighting the lifetime of variables I am taking support of one small program as well as a memory diagram itself. Now, observe here let me develop one small program like a class A. In the class A, I am taking one variable like a static int A equal to triple 1 and another one is what int B equal to triple 2 and another one is public static void main. After that, here I am writing like a int C equal to triple 3 and as well as I am creating one object that is what A OBJ equal to new A. So, this is what a small program to highlighting a lifetime of variables. Now, already we discussed the memory location of variables in the last uh, video. Now, mainly in JVM we have 5 memory areas. Now, here only I am discussing about uh, 3 memory areas only method area, heap area as well as a Java stack area. Now, according to our program, I written first static variables. So, here whenever we load, whenever we load a dot class file, all the static variables are going to be loading and initialized. Loading and initialized. Loading means getting the memory location and fill it with what uh, 0 nothing but default value after that uh, default value will be replaced with uh, original value default value will be replaced with uh, original value whenever dot class file is loading automatically the lifetime of a static variable is going to be started and when the lifetime of static variable is going to be ended once a dot class file or bytecode is undeploy from the JVM memory. Once bytecode is uh, uh, deleted from the method area, automatically static variables are going to be destroyed. And one more, int b equal to triple 2. This is non-static variable by defaultly memory is uh, not allocated for non-static variables. Definitely we required object creation. After that, main method is going to be executed. So, this is one stack. So, every thread using one stack for a method executions. So, here assume this is one stack frame. In this stack frame, our main method is going to be executed by the main thread. Now, assume this is what our main method execution place. Good. Now, whenever main method is going to be executed, we have some uh, sub areas, local variable storage area and uh, operand stack and frame data. So, in the local variable storage area, C variable, see local variables getting the memory and uh, filled with what uh, there is no default values, automatically we getting original value like what? Uh, triple 3. This triple 3 value is hold by the variable C. And one more variable we have. What is that variable? Referenced variable. So, here what is the referenced variable name? OBJ. What is the reference variable name? OBJ. 
in the right side part we have object creation whenever we creating an object automatically all the non static variables are going to be loading and initialized loading means getting the memory and fill it with the default value and initialized means default value will be replaced with what original values yes whenever we creating an object all the non static variable lifetime will be stored once object is going to be destroyed once object is going to be destroyed automatically all the non static variables are going to be destroyed nothing but the lifetime will be ended so whenever whenever variable local variable is local variable syntax coming into the picture automatically local variables lifetime will be started nothing but getting the memory in the jack uh, java stack area under the java stack area we have one more memory location stack under the stack memory we have a stack frame under the stack frame we have what local variable storage area in that particular memory area c variable getting the uh, memory and fill it with what uh, original value like a triple three once main method execution is completed automatically what happen all the local variables are going to be all the local variable means here what uh, we have two local variables one is c that is a primitive local variable another variable we have that is what uh, a referenced local variable that is obj these variables are going to be destroyed now in this particular statement a obj equal to new a in that time jvm will provide the memory memory here so assume that memory is what 1010 yes this is a memory for uh, this particular object okay now this memory i am placing into where here obj for obj purpose i am taking one separate uh, space so jvm will creating one uh, local variable that in that local variable 1010 will be placed that's why our obj is pointing to heap area memory our obj pointing to this heap area memory yes now let me highlighting all the variables lifetime whenever a dot class file is loading from secondary memory to primary memory these uh, static variables are going to be loading and once a uh, uh, dot class file is unloaded from the jvm memory automatically all the static variables are going to be destroyed so what is the lifetime of the static variable the time duration between dot class file loading and unloading and uh, what about the non static variables whenever we creating an object for a particular class in that particular class all the non static variables are going to be get the memory nothing but initialized getting the memory and initialized so once object creation started automatically these memory lo these variables getting the memory once object is going to be destroyed all the non static variables for that particular uh, memory is going to be destroyed and when the local variables are going to be created what is the lifetime of the local variables so the syntax which are appear to the jvm declaration syntaxes or initialization syntaxes then only local variables are going to be created once uh, that particular block either static block or non static block or constructor or method once it is going to be completed all the local variables are going to be destroyed understand or not so whenever this obj getting uh, obj unreferenced to the particular memory automatically this memory is going to be deallocated by the one non demon thread one demon thread that is what uh, garbage collectors once control is coming out of this uh, once control is coming out of this main method automatically all the local variables are going to be destroyed so that's all for uh, lifetime of variables i hope you enjoyed this video for more videos please subscribe narasati channel thank you